Today we are going to see how an OAW triangle forms on the relative motion radar screen. And then we will ensure how you can extract information of target vessel eh? that enables you to make a collision avoidance action. Let me explain about the display that you are watching in this video. It is a display combined together actual radar screen and the relative radar plotting sheets. The idea is to ensure you will get the sense of observing relative motion radar screen, uh, which is directly related to the relative radar plotting. As the display mode is currently in relative and your shape position is at the center of the screen permanently, even if you take any action. As you know, the important role of heading marker on the radar screen, that heading marker should also be placed on the radar plotting sheet as well. Don't forget that your heading will be constantly showing 300 degree true and the speed making is 12 knots. Now let's start watching the movement of a target on the screen. Blue dots started with the time level 1600 can be found on the starboard bar. To observe them systematically, you need to plot their positions, in this case the red dots, at regular intervals, 15 minutes in this case. You can also set the interval, regular interval as every 6 or 5 minutes. First red dot should be named as O and the last one is A. Soon after the last plot of 1630 is placed, you can draw a line passing through these three dots, three red dots. The OA line is called Relative Approach Line, which will tell you the CPA, Closest Point of Approach, enabling you to decide whether your two ships have risks of collision. If the Relative Approach Line passes through your own ship's center point, then you can assume that you will have a risk of collision with the target vessel. In this case, you have a collision case. You need to quickly compile the other important information of the target vessel. To do that, first place the parallel on the heading marker and then slide parallelly onto the point name O. And draw a line backward of heading from the point O. Now this line is representing your own ship heading and your own ship speed. As you are making a triangle, in this case 30 minutes triangle, the line representing own ship should be cut at a 30 minutes distance for the own ship, in this case 6 nautical mile, a name as WO line. When W and A is connected, W A line will represent the target vessel heading and speed. Now we know the heading of the target vessel and she is apparently crossing from your stubble bar. As the target vessel is approaching, you will need to find when the collision could take place, in other words, TCPA time to closest point of approach. 
To do that, you have to find the rate of the relative approach of the vessel throughout the OE line. By measuring with the dividers, you will find the rate easily. In this case, 3.2 nautical mile per 50 minutes. Total distance to reach CPA point from A is 5.5 nautical mile at a rate of 0.21 nautical mile per minute. The basis formula time is equal to distance per rate will be used. In this case, time to reach CPA point is 26 minutes. Therefore, TCPA is 1630 plus 26 minutes is come to 1656. To find the speed making by the target ship, measure the distance of WA line in 30 minutes triangle. WA distance show 3.7 nautical mile. Using formula speed is equal to distance by time. That comes to speed 3.7 divided by 30 is 0.12 nautical mile per minute. It is 7.4 knots. Measuring the direction of WA line to the nearest compass, you will get the directions of target vessel heading. Two, three, one degree true is the heading the target vessel is making. Finally, the aspect angle is for you to assess the situation and related rules involved. To know this, you need to measure the angle at the target vessel between the heading and the direction to your own ship. In this case, red angle at the target ship suggests a 76 degree. And as it is on the port bow of the target ship, aspect angle is called R76 degree. Now you can combine the radar observation report for that target vessel as goes 231 degree true, speed 7.4 knots, CPA 0, TCPA 1656 and SPEC R76 degree. Thank you for watching this.